Hey, how's it going guys? Mr. Boss for the win here. And in today's Red Dead Redemption 2 video, we're gonna be finding out what happens if you mislead the guy who's just looking for help getting back to Strawberry. So this is one of the more funny and interesting chance encounters that I've ever run across in Red Dead Redemption 2. And I'm gonna be showing you guys all the potential outcomes here. So the first outcome, I'm gonna show you what happens straight up if you help the man and you deliver him to Strawberry. This is what occurs, and you find him on the outskirts near Strawberry asking for help. Help! Help! I need assistance! Please! Sir, please stop! Oh, I beg you! Oh, I'm in bad sorts here. I took a little jolt and have managed to get myself hopelessly lost. I am staying in Strawberry. If you could just guide me back. Can't think of a good reason to say no. Oh, thank you, thank you, sir. Shall I ho hop up there on the, on the back with you? Your legs work, don't they? <sighs> well, yes, I suppose. It's just a little uh, demeaning. What are you doing out here, anyway? It clearly ain't your natural habitat. I don't uh, know. I'm just visiting. I, I, I'm from New York City, actually. You don't say. Oh, yes. There was some talk at the country club about this burgeoning little resort town called Strawberry. So I thought it might be quite the trip to see what all the fuss was. Perhaps make a few investments while it was still undervalued. Turns out I was made the fool. Not enjoying it, Dan? It's a town of splinters, if you could call it much of a town at all. I'd hardly stepped off the carriage, and I'd taken in the whole place. I suppose some might call it charming. <laughs> Let me tell you, charm is not worth much these days. You show me a timber frame shack, and I'll show you Broadway. And meanwhile, you have this mayor, a quite intolerable blowhard, a little bespoke woodwork, and he thinks this is a cultural hub. The man's completely deluded. Well, I should give him some credit. He must be quite the salesman. He did get me out here, after all. More fool me. Now I'm tromping through the leaves in the muck with some cowboy. Uh, no, no offense. Little taken. Oh, yes. This does look familiar. Oh! Are we close to town? Sir, you've rescued me from the depths! You seem quite the resourceful sort, sir. If for some reason you plan to spend any time in Strawberry, you may want to look into that gabbing mayor. Something is definitely off with him. All right. I'll keep that in mind. Maybe stay in town for now, huh? A rock and a hard place. Thanks anyway. How a fool like you could survive in New York is beyond me. I'll have you know, I'm a theater producer of some renown. I never thought I'd be so happy to see this pulp heap. You're nothing more than a wallet and some hair cream. Excuse me, you're a real piece of work. You know, I'm starting to think Maybe you don't make it back to this town you hate so much. You yokels are crazy! No, no, this isn't happening! So basically, this guy is from New York City, and he came to Strawberry looking for, I guess, a better life. And what's interesting is he talks about the mayor and how the mayor of Strawberry is kind of weird. Now, we have actually covered this in a previous video, which I'll leave a link to in the description. And yes, it does turn out that the mayor is kind of weird in Strawberry. So again, if you're interested in that entire story, I will leave a link to the Strawberry Mayor uh, investigation video that I did a couple of months ago in the description. I highly recommend checking it out. On the surface level, he seems like a totally normal dude, but the more you investigate, it gets very, very strange. Now, once he got to Strawberry, I wanted to see where he would ultimately go. I think I kind of chased him off, so he would just kind of walk about randomly. Uh, it's not like he went to a specific house or a hotel uh, once he was back to Strawberry. He just sort of rode away. 
Now, uh, this prompted me to figure out what this guy had on his person. I wanted to see if he had any special or unique items. So what I did is I beat him up and I looted him. And it didn't look like he had anything all that special. He had a wedding ring and a open health cure. Now, we did get some dishonorable points for doing that. But I totally expected that to be the case. So that was the first outcome right there. The next outcome, I wanted to see what would happen if we did things a little bit differently. This time, instead of leading him to Strawberry, what would happen if we brought him in the opposite direction? Like if we misled him altogether. And this is what happened. Please, sir, please stop. Oh, I beg you. Oh, I'm in bad sorts here. I took a little jolt and have managed to get myself hopelessly lost. I am staying in Strawberry. If you could just guide me back. Can't think of a good reason to say no. Oh, thank you, thank you, sir. Well, after you, what possessed me to come out here, I'll never know. None of this is familiar to me, but it all looks the same, so... Okay, now where was I? Ah, yes. Are you sure this is the right way? I don't think this is the right direction at all. I don't even smell damp pulp. Oh, you're just getting me more lost. I'd be better off on my own. Okay, so that was pretty funny. He has some unique lines of dialogue, specifically if you lead him in the opposite direction. Now, I was going to try some fun experiments with this, like what happens if we brought him up to the snowy mountains or what if we brought him to the, the city in San Denis? It would have been cool if he's like, wait a minute, this isn't Strawberry, but he, he realizes that he's going the wrong direction much earlier than that, which is a little bit surprising because someone that can't get themselves back to a town that's a couple hundred feet away yet knows we're going in the wrong direction, that to me just seems a little bit interesting. So he had some unique lines of dialogue for us ultimately taking him in the wrong direction, and uh, I wanted to loot him again uh, just to see if he would have the same thing or if it would be different. It seems as if his loot is randomized, as this time I got like $2 and some snake oil. So we didn't get anything there that was all that interesting. So I wanted to try a handful of other experiments. The next time I wanted to see what would happen if we declined to help him out. And this is what occurred. Please, sir, please stop. Oh, I beg you. Oh, I'm in bad sorts here. I took a little jolt and have managed to get myself hopelessly lost. I am staying in Strawberry. If you could just guide me back. Nah, I gotta keep moving. Keep walking straight. You'll come out somewhere. Well then, and here I thought people were kind out west. My corpse will lay upon your soul. Hello! Why won't anyone help me? Have you reconsidered? That is good news. Sorry to get your hopes up, mister. Ain't happening. Then why are you here? Leave me to my lonely demise. If you won't help, at least have the decency to leave me be. So that's the first outcome right there, declining him. And then when he asks for help again, you decline a second time, which is so cruel and so sad. I wanted to try this again where you decline the first time, but then accept to help him on the second time. And this is what happens. Please, sir, please stop. Oh, I beg you. Oh, I'm in bad sorts here. I took a little jolt and have managed to get myself hopelessly lost. I am staying in Strawberry. If you could just guide me back. Nah, I gotta keep moving. Keep walking straight. You'll come out somewhere. Well then, and here I thought people were kind out west. My corpse will lay upon your soul. Hello! Why won't anyone help me? Have you reconsidered? That is good news. Yeah, well, let's get this over with. Oh, thank you, thank you, sir. So he's obviously quite thankful that you decided to have a change of heart and help him out. 
Now, I, I was trying a couple of other experiments as well. And what's interesting is if you actually run too quickly, this guy will get agitated with you. And it'll eventually fail the little stranger quest that you're on. Take a listen to this. Wait up, wait up. This isn't a race. Will you slow down? I cannot possibly follow you at this pace. Right, leave me to die. Throw me to the wolves. So this guy seems to be very needy, helpless, uh, walks at a very slow pace, wanted to ride on the back of our horse. Uh, I'm actually kind of glad that in some situations it turns out that we didn't end up helping him because he just seems like a massive crybaby. I mean, nothing we can do uh, seems to work well for this guy from New York who ultimately came to visit Strawberry. But anyways, that's all the information that I've got for you guys in this video today. A fun little experiment of what happens if you try and mislead the guy that's just looking to get back to town. I'd love to hear from you guys in the comments down below. Have you ran into this guy before? And if so, what did you end up doing? Let me know your thoughts, opinions, and more in the comments down below. If you did go on to enjoy this video, though, a like rating would, of course, be awesome. And subscribe to my YouTube channel if you are new or you like daily Red Dead Redemption 2 videos like this. With all the way, guys, like I said, thanks so much for watching. Take care, and I'll see you guys in the next video.